Hello there, beautiful people. I am Sasha with Fibers of Mind. I am one of the teachers for Macrame for Beginners group on Facebook. If you are a beginner and are not a member of the group, I suggest you check them out. You will find a lot of useful resources, a great supportive community, and a group of very talented teachers who will teach you all kinds of projects. In this video, I will not be recreating the original hanging but will be using my practice rope and scraps of color cord that I have laying around to show you how to tie the knots and to switch color. Um, this video is for beginners who know their basic code, uh, knots and are looking to learn and expand their knowledge further. So let's look at the materials. Feel free to pause the video here or take a screenshot so you know what you will need. In this video I will be going on over only uh, several parts. The rest are repetitive and you can just refer to the parts that I already explained. I also will not be showing you how to cut the fringe because I'm pretty sure you know how to use the scissors. So let's begin. Hang all your cut rope pieces over the dowel. Make sure that they are all evenly folded in half. Take the hanging tails and wrap them over the dowel from the back towards the front. You see that loop that's created? Just pull those tails through. Gently pull on the tails and align your rope so it's not tangled and lays not nicely next to each other. You see how it's created this beautiful crisscross pattern. And let's do this again. Continue with the rest of your rope. Take your thin dowel and secure it on the right side. Doesn't matter what knot you are using because you will have to undo it anyway. You are doing it just so you um, secure this rod so it doesn't move around for you very much. Start from the left. Wrap the first cord around and then the same cord around the dowel from the top and through the loop. So basically you are wrapping twice. Take your next cord and repeat this process over the dowel and through the loop. And do it again over the dowel and through the loop. Repeat this with your the rest of your hanging cords. When you get almost to the end of your thin dowel, I will show you how to make this process a little bit faster. Now that 
that you've gotten to almost to the end of your thin double, remove the knot that you created to keep it steady for you and let's make this process faster. So take your next cord that you will be tying around the road and flip it clockwise and then the loop goes over the road, pull it through and tighten up a little bit and create another loop again clockwise, pull it through the road and pull it tight and continue. You see how much faster that will go for you at the end? This trick will not work when you um, when you are in the middle of your work just because it's too far to the right but when you have a couple of strings left that will do the trick. Now let's create this fun basket weave pattern. Take your first two cords on the left, fold the right cord up, then turn the tail to the left to create a loop that makes the same tail then will wrap around the left cord and go through the loop. Work the knot with your fingers to tighten it. The knot should look like a little UFO. Repeat with the rest of your cords up to the left, around the left cord, through the loop and then tighten it up with your fingers. And there you have another little UFO. Continue with the rest. row you will alternate the chords and start with the second and third chord instead of the first and second. Work one row at a time and make five rows of this knots. color section, you might want to map your design. I used just the tape and the colored pencil to indicate where my colors will be switching. You don't have to do this, but it might help a little bit with visualizing how your pattern will work. I will not 
do it on this um, cords, but you might just use the pencil and get yourself a little map going. Cut your cord 10 times the length of the color spiral you want to make. Put your cord around the three strips of string and then start wrapping them around. I usually start from the right, wrap it around the middle and then twice or second time around the right cord. Then wrap your left string and now you can start making your half square knots. Pull your right string over the middle, three, left string over the right, around the middle three and through the loop. Tighten it up and you see how you have very little white space at the top. Now repeat this process and uh, you will start getting your spiral. Turn it around if you need to and continue. If you don't turn around your spiral, you will get a little more of a flatter result and it will not be as uh, pretty. Make sure that you have some of your tails still hanging. You will need them for the next part by adding colors. Now let's look at the option without wrapping around the top. And I will show you because it is up to you whether you want to wrap your string around as I did or you can just start your spiral right from the top. Except you will see that you will have some white um, cord visible and it is absolutely up to you whether you want that look or the look with the wrapped around strings. You see that space and there's no space right there. Um, completely up to you, so choose whichever one you prefer. right long cord under and in front of the short tail. Now bring that short tail around and in front of your three cords. Now take your left long cord and place under the long short left cord but over the short right cord. Now you'll have to hold it with your left hand and start making your square knot with your longer cord. But make sure that you wrap around your short tails so it is inside and wrapped by your new cord. Now you will have to adjust a little bit right there and just continue as you would with your spiral. You see how it just wraps around and sort of continues to go as you normally would. you've gone for a little bit you can go ahead and snap these or cut these uh, tails right there and continue 
underneath your spiral until desired length. Now you can add another color without going through that process and literally just add it the way you started at the top. Just make sure that the short tails are inside and you are wrapping around them. This method works as well. It's just not going to look as clean, but if you don't look very closely, it's probably nobody will ever notice that you have not gone through all this wrapping short ends through the long ends and so forth. So it's up to you. Um, but I just wanted to let you know and show you how it will look so you can make your decision. You see how there's a little bit of white showing and the spirals not gonna line up really, uh, the ribs will not really line up very well. But again, um, it is up to you. It's not that big of a deal, but a little cleaner route. Uh, look on the other one. Now you see how we have these inner cords and clusters and to separate them I will go ahead and wrap around my hanging strings, color strings, around those cords. And I will do the same thing I did uh, on the top, wrap it over the right string, around the middle and over the right string again and push the color cord on the back. Now I will do the same with the left cord, wrap it around, over, around it and one more time and push that cord to the back as well. Now you can take those cords on the back and tie them together. I usually tie them pretty tight and do uh, a double knot and then you can snap them off. So you see how you separated those legs now. So give it another knot and then you can go ahead and just clip them off right there and then take a glue, fabric glue, and um, just dab a little bit on the ends to keep them fused together. This is how they will look in the back. Um, you see I cut them and I glued them together so they will not go anywhere and unravel. In my piece I added another row of horizontal half hitch knots. You don't have to do it but um, here it is and you can do a row on your own. So place your cord over your very left cord and make sure the tail is hanging, wrap it around and then flip it counterclockwise and pull the leg that's hanging through. So you created right now a lark's head knot but um, we will be doing double half hitch knots later. So just pull it on the back, make sure that the tail is on the back and now just continue flipping counterclockwise, pull the hang string through and do it again. So basically you're doing it twice. Flip it counterclockwise, pull the leg through and with this method you don't have to measure the color cord, you can work straight uh, from the spool.
that's pretty much it just now add your dowels make the pattern and cut the fringe and there you have it I hope it will spark some ideas and imagination for you uh, please feel free to add your own elements or just make it as I showed you if you still have questions please do reach out to me and if you end up making this hanging please tag me on Instagram or post it in a group actually I am encouraging you to post it in a group and I will be sure to give you a shout out in my story on Instagram happy making and thank you for watching Thank you.